While it may have slowed down the thousands of wrestling fans from across the country and around the world flying into town for WrestleMania. And from the moment they land, Philly International is going to give them a big welcome. Fit for the ultimate fan. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Ray Strickland explains. With WrestleMania 40 just days away. The buzz for what's to come is already building. Woo! <laughs> the beginning of weekend long excitement at Philadelphia International. Yeah! A pep rally officially kicking off what many people call the Super Bowl of Wrestling. PHL officials unveiling a replica wrestling ring as well as championship belts to welcome fans. For it to be here in Philadelphia, you know, my, my, my home. Is, uh, is magnificent. Milton Query is a lifelong wrestling fan who says he attended WrestleMania in Philadelphia 25 years ago. I remember first being here at the airport and meeting a lot of the performers, uh, Triple H in China at the time, rest in peace to China, and um, being part of this when Stone Cold Steve Boston and The Rock had a match that was the headline match at that time. He'll be among more than 100,000 people expected to attend WrestleMania at the link on Saturday and Sunday. SmackDown and WWE Raw will also take place at Wells Fargo. The convention center will host interactive fan events as well. We're expecting about 93,000 passengers to come through, and we're going to be ready for them. WrestleMania 40 is expected to generate millions for the Philadelphia region, a weekend long event that will impact the city for years. They are going to take over. Over the city of Philadelphia. And that was Greg Karen with the Convention and Visitors Bureau. Told me the streets are going to be electric, calling Philly the place to be this weekend. Reporting at Philadelphia International, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.